Hey everyone and welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In this video I will show you exactly how you can make Windows 11 look like Windows Vista. So without any further ado, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. Now the first thing which we will change is the Windows taskbar. Open up your web browser and search for the retro bar and GitHub. Now here is the first link from Dermin, the developer who created the retro bar, which will give us this Windows Vista taskbar effect. Now here at the bottom right, click on the releases link and the latest current release is 1.11. And now down below, we can select the latest 64 bit or 32 bit, or even if you are on ARM computer or ARM processor like Qualcomm, then you can also use this version as well. Here I will go with 64bit.zip file, open it in your downloads folder. Now here right click on the zip file and click on the extract all. Click extract once again and then the file should be extracted. Now here I will double left click on the retrobar.exe file. I also got a pop-up Windows protected your PC. Here I will click on more info and then run anyway button. Now here you can also see that I got an error. Now we need to install also this .NET desktop runtime to run this application. So here I will click yes and this should redirect me to another website which will then download load the Windows desktop runtime exe file. I will install this runtime and then I'll get back to you when the installation is complete. Now, as you can see, the installation was successful. Here, I will press on close button down below and right now I will launch Retrobar once again. Here you can already see the Retrobar in action, but with this Windows XP default or the Retro taskbar look. Now, if you right click on the taskbar, you can click on properties here and now I'm going to change the theme, which is most important to the Vista Basic. Here, enable allow font smoothing and also show window preview thumbnails. And also on the retro bar on the second tab at the top, I will select automatically start at log on. I will here press OK. Now you can see that the start menu isn't acting correctly. So here I will go to the settings and here I will go to the personalization settings. Here I will select the taskbar and under the taskbar and behaviors I will select here to the left and now the start menu should act correctly. Now I will move focus to the start menu so let's open up the web browser once again and search for the open shell. The first link should be also the GitHub one and just install the open shell like I do here. So go to the releases here and download the latest version. I will just get the pre-release version, but I recommend that you use the latest version as well. So the stable one, which should be marked with the green color, but here are all the pre-releases. Now here at the top, I will go with the exe file. I will install the open shell and then I will get back to you guys when the installation is of course completed. Here you can already see open shell menu in action or the start menu in action, but this is not the look which we want. So here in the settings for the open shell menu, I will go to the skin settings here and under the skin here, I will select to the Windows arrow and here I will press OK. And now you can already see that we have this Windows Vista looking start menu as well. Now, this isn't it. We will still need to install a custom theme for the Windows Vista. But before that, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure that you drop a like down below the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's open up the web browser once again and let's search for the Windows Blinds. Keep in mind that this program isn't free, but you can already try it for 30 days. So here I will activate the 30 days trial for this program. Just here at the bottom, you can select try it free for 30 days. And here you will get the exe file for Windows Blinds 11. Once you have the Windows Blinds setup exe file, click on it and then you can go to one temporary email website. For example, temp email. Here I will select I agree to the terms of this license agreement and then I will click next. Here I will click next and then next once again. And now the Windows blinds should install. Now after the installation of the Windows blinds, here you will need to enter the product key, purchase the product key or start 30 day trial. Here I will select start 30 day trial 
And now I will copy this temporary email into this input field and click continue. Now let's open up the Windows blinds and here you can also see thank you message. Click finish and now we will need to install a third party theme for Windows blinds because none of them which are pre-installed are looking like Windows Vista. So let's open the web browser once again and let's search for the better Aero Vista X Windows blinds. And let's click on the second link where it says discontinued. Here at the bottom, you also have a new link. So the successor theme for this theme, which we looked for. And now let's open this second link. So the brand new theme for the Windows blinds. And this one is called Better Aero Vista X, which we search for. So down below, we also have the download link. And now you should be redirected to the mediafire.com. Click on the consent and then download button. Now, once we have this better Aero Vista X zip file, let's open it in the file explorer, right click and then extract all to get the important files. Now here I will double left click to the better Aero Vista skin and this should add this skin to Windows Blinds 11. Now at the bottom you can also see a new skin has been installed message and now let's open up the Windows Blinds and here we can already see better Aero Vista skin. Here I will just change Aero Vista X default look to something else, for example to the graphite. So it will be a little bit darker. Here I will select apply style to the desktop and here I will select yes. And now this should apply the Aero Vista X theme of Windows blinds to the whole system. And now we will still need to install the gadgets on our desktop with the rain meter. And of course we can't miss on the cursor as well. So let's open the web browser and let's search for the rain meter. I won't go through the installation process of the rain meter because it's quite straightforward. Here I will install it and then I will get back to you when we will need to install the gadgets. Now to install the gadgets just search on the Google for rain meter Windows Vista gadgets and here make sure that you click on the GitHub link from this guy Silver Azide. Let's go to the releases here and let's click on this ARM skin file. So this is basically the rain meter skin file. If you do not see this teardrop icon this means that you do not have rain meter installed and then you should install it right away. So let's open the gadgets ARM skin file. Let's click on the install and then we should be good to go. Now here you can select whichever gadget you prefer. Here I will select for example the calendar, the weather meter and also the chronometer. Now this is pretty much it but if you want you can also select all of them or which gadgets you actually need. So here I will select check for the updates and close them and now you can already see all these widgets which I have on my desktop. So to modify them for example this clock here you can select here on this ranch icon at the top right. So this will open the settings for the widget and now you can also select uncheck always show background and here at the bottom I will select the traditional look of the widget. Now this is pretty much it. Let's close the chronometer settings and now if I right click on the widget we can select here variants and select here analog. And now we can already see that we have this widget which is looking more like Windows Vista already. Now if you do the same for the calendar widget for example so here you can select something else for example calendar plus large date or only the large date so something like that and then we can close the settings as well. Now you can also rearrange them as you like. So this is pretty much it for the widgets. Right now let's install the Windows Vista cursor. So let's just search here on the Google for Windows Vista cursor and now we should see the Windows Vista and 7 sounds and cursors for XP on DeviantArt.com. This is the correct link and uh, now we can download this file. Once you have extracted the cursor zip file 
Open it and you should see two folder, sounds and cursors. Let's click on the cursors and down below we should also see install file. Right click on the install file and then you can select here install and then open and then yes. And this should install this Windows Vista custom cursor. And now you can open up the Windows settings in the start menu. And here you can search for the cursor. And now here we can select mouse pointer style. You can go down and select the mouse here. Scroll down and select the additional mouse settings. Now here select the pointers and under the scheme select the Windows 7 cursors. Click apply, then you can click yes and OK. And now you can also see that we have this Windows Vista cursor on our Windows 11. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe and like to the channel would be much appreciated. All the required files will be also linked in the video description down below. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.